and I can already tell that you guys are going to get hella mad at me because I trimmed these little edges. Still got my long hair, but trimmed these little edges. This little piece is still not long enough, but I don't know, man. It just looks so much cleaner. I just had to do it, okay? I don't really want an undercut, but for now, let's just keep cleaning up these little edges. Hey guys, my name is George, welcome back to my channel, and today we're gonna to be talking about hair care. Before I start talking about my personal hair care routine, I do need to mention that everyone's hair care routine should be slightly different depending on your hair type and your hair health. For those of you who don't know, people generally think I have very thick hair, and I kind of do, but only because I have a lot of it. The actual individual strands of hair are quite thin. I've just got a lot of thin hair. It also doesn't tend to be too greasy or too dry, so overall, I'm fairly flexible, but uh, you guys might want to adapt this routine slightly. Amazon would just knock on my door the second that I start a video, wouldn't they? You might want to adapt this routine slightly, but this is my personal routine. I'm just going to go through things I do to keep my hair healthy and uh, looking shiny and nice like it is right now. Okay, so generally, uh, washing your hair is kind of the first step. But to be honest with you, guys wash their hair way too much. When you have short hair, it doesn't matter so much, but the longer your hair gets, if you wash your hair every single day, maybe even twice a day, it's pretty damaging to your hair. It's too much. You need to let your hair absorb all those natural oils that it produces. You don't want it to dry out. The more you mess with it, the, the weaker the root's gonna get, and then you might start losing some hair. I myself usually wash my hair with shampoo and conditioner about one to three times a week, usually two. But obviously if I'm doing a lot of things that week that I need to have slightly more washed hair, I might either use dry shampoo, which is quite rare for me, or uh, if I really need to, but I've washed recently, I'll use just conditioner. Overall, it's usually about twice a week for me. You also wanna make sure the water that you wash your hair in is perfect temperature. You don't wanna make it too hot. You don't wanna make it too cold. In this video, uh, it looks like I put it too hot. I don't know, I didn't put it hot at all. Like it wasn't a cold shower, obviously, but it was moderately warm and the whole lens started steaming up. So I don't know, but do not put it too hot, okay? Uh, maybe I should have made it a little bit colder. Another thing to mention that isn't really to do with hair care, but when you're doing your hair care, you might want to keep in mind. When guys usually wash their hair, they usually just floop it right into their face and then let all that gunk fall into their face and they'll probably cause them skin issues like spots and stuff. So I recommend flicking your hair backwards and um, washing it down your back instead. Once you've got your hair nice and wet, it's time for shampoo. I'm not too fussy on the shampoo that you would use, uh, I would just recommend you experiment around, see what shampoo works for your hair type. Obviously, it'll be different for everyone. In this exact video, I was using Herbal Essences Coconut Milk. Um, I don't know, it works well for my hair. I don't see a problem with it. But yeah, again, I'm quite flexible with shampoos that I can use. But you can pretty much experiment and find your own shampoo. One thing I will say is that almost everyone uses this, Head & Shoulders, and it's just not that good. Here's the thing, it's a two in one, so yeah, I guess it's good in terms of convenience, but I feel like it's a jack of all trades, master of none. Doesn't do that great um, of a job. And also, I don't feel like the ingredients are too good, to be honest with you. Another little honorable mention, uh, I wouldn't say these are the healthiest products to use, but the Waterman's Growth Shampoo and Conditioner. Uh, they're pretty decent if you're trying to grow out your hair for the first time. I thought it did help me grow faster, but at the same time, it's hard to tell because I didn't measure it super accurately. Maybe it's all placebo, but maybe consider them. When applying the shampoo, you wanna apply it everywhere in your hair, including the scalp. I usually put my hands into a sort of a cup and kind of just massage. I massage my hair, my head, and my scalp, which obviously increases the blood flow in the scalp and uh, will therefore hopefully help with hair growth as well. So another bonus there. After I've done that, I rinse it out properly and I will instantly feel that my hair is completely clean, which also means it's been stripped of all of its nutrients. To compensate for that, I use conditioner, which is what most people do. With conditioner, I have a slightly different tactic for using it. I usually apply it to the ends of my hair for the most part, uh, so I don't really rub it into my scalp as much. This is because near my scalp, I find it's probably the oiliest part of my hair. If I do that, it looks much shinier and greasier than the rest of my hair. So to balance it out, I kind of just apply it to the ends. This is gonna add moisture back into your hair and it'll just feel stronger and healthier. And uh, yeah, it'll just 
give it a nice, nice natural shine. After I've applied the conditioner, I need to remove the conditioner and I would be extra thorough with the conditioner because if you leave it in your hair, yeah, your hair will be receiving some nice moisture, but the problem will be it will look very greasy and shiny. So definitely get a thorough rinse through. So we've actually reached three quarters of the way to the milestone of 10,000 subscribers. We've surpassed 7,500 subscribers. I don't know exactly how many we're on right now, but we're so close. Come on guys. I know we can make this channel grow together, so let's do it. Please do leave a like and a comment. Tell me what your hair care routine is or any other videos that you'd like to watch and follow my Instagram at George F. Leto. Also leave me a comment telling me what you think of this hair. Like, I mean, it's different, right? I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I wouldn't say it's my least favorite. So yeah, I guess I like it. It's all right. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Do you guys remember that trend a few years ago where you had long line tees, which literally covered your whole bum? Yeah, um, I never wore this. Like literally wore it like once. Didn't look good on me whatsoever. And uh, so I just was left with this black t-shirt which was honestly quite cheap but the material is quite soft which got recycled into my hair care routine and let me explain when using a towel most guys just kind of violently rub it into their heads which is not really what you want to do because when your hair's wet it's at its most fragile point and you're probably just going to break it i recommend using well in my case a t-shirt but just a very soft cloth uh, which you can pretty much dry your hair with i literally just grab my hair and squeeze it instead of violently rubbing my head with a towel now at this point your hair is still going to be damp but at least it won't be dripping wet anymore i always apply some sort of hair oil in this case blue man's cloud control because i just find that it adds that natural healthy shine to your hair and makes it just feel less dry but also not too oily it's just overall a very good product use as much as you feel you need at that point in time i'd vary so i'm not going to tell you there's a specific quantity that i use every time and then if you need to do something on that day you might want to actually blow dry your hair in which case i use a heat protecting spray and if you don't i just leave it to air dry when using the blow dryer i usually use it on the lowest setting and if you just need patience, just need patience, usually drying the ends first, eventually it will be dry. Now, if you're one of those guys who did dry your hair, you'll probably end up using a finishing product. The only thing I'll say about that, because it's obviously gonna vary greatly depending on the kind of hair style you're going for, try and make sure the ingredients in your products are good. Usually natural ingredients are a pretty safe bet. For a tied up hairstyle like the one I have here, I didn't need anything other than the oil uh, because it kind of holds itself up with the band that's pretty much it when it comes to the things i actively do to my hair every day there are other steps you can take to pr protect your hair for example i use this silk pillowcase which obviously means that i don't have as much friction between my head and the pillow when i'm sleeping at night you can also use one of these silk cap thingies this also has the extra benefit of allowing you to have wavy hair without having to use heat which is another benefit so yeah that's pretty much it it's actually quite simple if you really think about it general rule of thumb uh, if your hair is longer, you probably need to take care of it more. It becomes weaker and weaker as it grows out towards the ends of your hair where you start splitting or it just starts becoming drier, staying away from your scalp and the natural oils. So the longer your hair, the more you should care about your hair routine. Same with if you're losing your hair, uh, stuff, stuff such as the silk pillow is honestly quite a nice little thing that you can implement, which will hopefully help you stop losing as much hair. Yeah, thanks for watching guys and peace.